Hello, my name is Holland Timmons, otherwise known on this channel as The Connoisseur. And I think this is the one everybody's been waiting for on my channel. The Complete Sherlock Holmes, Volume 1, by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. This is a 700-page volume collection. This is only Volume 1. Um, I've read every story. Uh, it's a really good collection. Um, I think everyone knows who's been watching my channel knows I'm a huge Sherlock Holmes fan. Well, Sherlock Holmes is the one Victorian-era character that continued on into the 20th century. So he's got that going for him. Um, he's the first detective in fiction and uh, first detective in general to use logic and forensic science. Uh, Scotland Yard definitely didn't have that going for them back then, but I think they took some notes from both Sherlock Holmes and Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, who did some investigative field work of his own. Um, yeah, Sherlock Holmes is like the CSI before there was a CSI, so, um, let's see, uh, just a second. It... Starts out with the a study in Scarlet where Watson gets back from Afghanistan and meets Sherlock Holmes for the first time. Sherlock Holmes is having trouble finding a roommate to go in on a flat with and meets Watson and they have their first adventure together. Um, yeah, it's a murder mystery. Uh, and the victims... They're all scumbags. So, the bad guy who Sherlock Holmes catches is actually the good guy in the situation, which is a nice reversal. But I won't go too much more into that. I don't want to spoil too much more. Um, then there's the sign of four. Uh, that's a, another murder mystery. It has to do with a treasure and a lovely young woman who uh, is... Like, in this case of, uh, betrayal and murder, and, uh, ultimately she does become Watson's wife. So by the time the adventures of Sherlock Holmes happens with a scandal in Bohemia, which introduces Irene Adler, the only woman to ever outsmart Sherlock Holmes, and one of the few people to ever outsmart Sherlock Holmes, um, Watson was already married. So, really, A Scandal in Bohemia was essentially written to show that Sherlock Holmes was not, in fact, a homosexual. I think he's more of an asexual. Um, actually, this brings up a good point. In my first video review, when I said that Jeremy Brett being bisexual was the perfect way to portray an asexual character, I don't think many people knew what I meant. Well, um... Let's say, for example, that Sherlock Holmes was not asexual. Which way does he swing? Um, a scandal in Bohemia suggests that he would be straight, but with Jeremy Brett being bisexual, it means, you know, it goes either way. So Sherlock Holmes is whatever you want him to be if he wasn't an asexual. So, you know, he's whatever you want him to be. Uh, that's the beauty of fiction, and I think that's why Jeremy Brett was one of the best actors to portray Holmes. You know, not just because of his sexuality, but also because of his bipolar mood swings, which was in the books, but Jeremy Brett was the only one to perfectly capture that. Um, there's the Red-Headed League, which is an attack on gingers, <laughs> uh, the case of identity, the Boscombe Valley mystery, the Five Orange Pips, The Man with the Twisted Lip, The Adventure of the Blue Carbuncle, The Adventure of the Speckled Band, and The Adventure of the Engineer's Thumb. The Adventure of the Noble Bachelor, The Adventure of the Barrel Coronet, Coronet, I don't know how to say that. The Adventure of the Copper Beaches. Then it goes into the memoirs of Sherlock Holmes at page 397, with the Silver Blaze at page 399, The Yellow Face, uh, the Stockbroker's Clerk, The Glorious Scott, The Musgrave Ritual, The Rigate, The Rygate Puzzle, 
the crooked man, the resident patient, the Greek interpreter, the naval treaty, and then Sherlock Holmes. One of his most famous stories is in this collection, The Final Problem, which he goes up against Professor Moriarty, possibly one of the first super villains in literature. Um, definitely very super villain esque. I would say Sherlock Holmes is a uh, Batman on a budget. He knows how to fight. He's very smart. He knows how to use the city. And uh, Professor Moriarty is his exact opposite. He uses his brilliance for evil. And he has a whole gang. And he knows how to use the city to his advantage. And it's a very well written story. Um, then it goes sort of into a horror book. Which it was written in the 10 per year period in between the final problem and the adventure of the empty house when Sherlock Holmes is dead. So this was like the only Sherlock Holmes story you could find by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Um, yeah, The Hound of the Baskervilles, which is in fact my favorite Sherlock Holmes story. Uh, it's very horror heavy, um, not horror heavy, horror heavy, you sick little monkeys, and, um, has a hellhound, and keep off the moors at night, Watson really comes into his own as a detective, being trained by Sherlock, um, great murder mystery, great supernatural mystery for Sherlock Holmes to unravel, uh, sort of a prequel, one of the first prequels where it takes place before the final problem. So it's somewhere in between uh, the adventures of Sherlock Holmes and the memoirs of Sherlock Holmes. Happens somewhere in between there. Uh, yeah. So, as you can see, this is the book. Uh, interestingly enough, Sherlock Holmes never has any of these but it's what he's most famous for because of the Sidney Paget drawings. Um, I don't mind it, it just adds to the uh, mystique of Sherlock Holmes, the enigma of the character. It's just really good. Uh, anyway, I would totally recommend this book. Uh, it's only half the stories, really, but it has three of the four books in it. And, um, yeah, it has The Hound of the Baskervilles, which is in Time's top 100, I believe it's Time Magazine's, I believe it's in the top 100 novels ever made, ever written. It deserves to be there. It really does. Um, it's a classic. Uh, they're all classics, but The Hound of the Baskervilles especially. Uh, yeah, so, I should probably do some Hound of the Baskervilles movie reviews, but I'll do that later. Uh, anyway, um, that's Sherlock Holmes. The Complete Sherlock Holmes Volume 1 by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. And next video, we'll be taking a look at The Complete Sherlock Holmes Volume 2 by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Okay. I will see you soon.